Hi guys, welcome back on the channel. This is TV Very Tech. Today we're gonna be talking about the secret menu of the Samsung One UI Gallery. Believe me or not, I will try it right now with you in real time with my cat in the frame. How do we get to this menu? Very, very easy. You need to enter the gallery, you need to go here to the hamburger and go to settings. Just scroll down, hit the about gallery and you're gonna see a version, right? The version should be 121036. And now what we need to do is hit several times the version, all right? Let's start hitting it. Oh, Labs Gallery? Labs Gallery is now enabled. Gallery Labs is enabled. Let's just go back into the settings and boom, here it is, guys. Labs, Gallery Labs, this is only for internal tests. Now, guys, please proceed with caution. Only for internal tests, the functions in the lab are not official and can be disappeared. This is really thrilling, guys, and I see this for the first time. I'm so happy to do this. It's time to check the new features we have gained access to. So reopen the gallery, hit the hamburger, go to settings, scroll down to gallery labs, and let's take a deep look. I did some testing to show you what is working and what is not working on my device. I'm using the Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus running the latest One UI 3.1. Right, the first thing is the fill strip in viewer. This we can explain, let me just show you. This here is the film strip. Once you open a picture and you keep scrolling, of course, you might also have videos. You're gonna see something down below and you can also use this here for a quick navigation. Apparently, you can make this disappear. Let's do this. Let's go back into the gallery labs. Let's remove the film strip. Don't forget, you need to close the application all the time you do things like this. All right, let's reopen the applications. Let's go into the screenshots. Let's try to open the same picture. No film strip here. Some people might like it that way. So if you are keen to remove your film strip, now you know how to do it. Let's go back and check the other settings. We are now back into the gallery labs. Let's re-enable the film strip in viewer. This thing, viewer and details renewal, I was not able to make it work or not sure what it does. So I'm not gonna show you guys. Day cluster merging in picture list. Also, I'm gonna leave it like this. This one is interesting. Dynamic spacing between photos. So let me just first show you. We are now back into the gallery and you see here the spacing between the photos. And for me, this is really the default look. But what happens if we change that one? Dynamic spacing between photos. Remove that one, okay? Close the gallery, reopen the gallery, right? And you see what happens now? I do like this narrow grid better compared to the wider one, and I do like the view. I think it's a bit better than it used to be. All right, so let's go back. Optional menu in viewer. I was not able to get this working, so I'm not gonna show this to you guys. Then we have One UI 2.5 settings, advanced video player, Microsoft your phone, video preview on picture list. So a lot of things you can add if you're using an old Samsung phone. You can get access to a advanced video player, which can play, pause and seek in the video preview, not available in the Samsung gallery. And you can also get Microsoft your phone. This is very good if you wanna link your phone to a device like Windows. Video preview on a picture list, okay? This is enabled by default, but you can remove it. And we have also features for the One UI 2.1, up bar extending, show trust storage info, and as simple as that. Then we have some standard settings called timeline for picture list, and it's actually all about organizing your albums or your video or your pictures based on the date, all right? So those ones are set by default. I'm not gonna remove them. And then we have some new options, image video viewer. Dual photo preview only. File is not saved by changing close up wide of live focus photo. If you're keen, you can enable that one. Android image decoder using Android embedded image decoder for image region decoding. I was not sure what this does, didn't really do anything. Show exif in details. Sadly, this is not also working. I tried to set it up. Let me just show you guys. Setting it up. You can also go for show cached image and details. Let's try to restart. Let's open a picture. I open a picture of mine. Let's click here the details. I was expecting to get a bit more information. We have the exit information. This was already on, but I expected to have a histogram or a bit more settings like we used to see into the Oxygen OS. This weekend I was on a trip. If I open the details of this picture and I see in the exit information, I can see the address, all right? So we have the GPS coordinates. But back again, every time you take a picture with your digital camera or your phone, and if it's actually a JPEG, then this information is written into the storage, into the picture information called the EXIF. In addition to all the bits dedicated to the actual picture, EXIF also records a considerable amount of supplemental metadata. So this can include the time, right, the camera settings. So see here we have the aperture, we have also the shutter speed, 
We have also the ISO, right, the white button settings, the flash settings, and we also see the smartphone model. So all of this gets stored as a metadata into your EXIF. Now go back to Gallery Labs. We are now back into the Gallery Labs and this is why this option, fixed dating time, it's so important. When you hit it, you're gonna get an option to fix pictures, like these pictures here have invalid time. And that's true, these pictures are received by me over my messenger or edited by me. I have also pictures with no location. So of course, all the screenshots I take don't have a location. Or let's say they have something wrong with the wide and height and also, you know, no date and time or zero size. But be very cautious when you're using this option because it can change existing information. Then we have the capture system heap them. Don't use that one as it can capture some sensitive information as the warning is. And now more options for developers. I think this is the end at this list. Again, guys, please proceed with caution. Those options really are some internal options for testers. I wanna give this knowledge to you. If you like videos like this, then a sub will be much appreciated. All right, stay safe guys, you and your families, and we're gonna catch up in one of my next video. With that said, VST over and bye.